In this video, we're going over the recursive approach of House Robber 2. So you're a professional robber planning to rob houses along the street. Each house has a certain amount of money stashed. All of the houses are arranged in a circle. This means the first house is connected to the last house. Meanwhile, adjacent houses have a security system connected and will contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night. So given integer array numbers representing the amount of money at each house, return the maximum amount of money you can rob without alerting the police. So for example, we're given this array. If we rob the first house, we are not allowed to rob the second house and we're not allowed to rob the third house because the first house is connected to the last house. So we are only allowed to get a maximum amount of two if we start from the zero index. Now, if we start from the first index, we're allowed to rob this house and then we're going to skip all of the other houses because all of the other houses are adjacent to three. So the maximum amount of money we can rob is three without alerting the police. So let's go over the dog process. So we have two initial starting positions. If we start from index one or index zero, first index, we are not allowed to rob the last house. If we start from index one, it's the second index, we are allowed to rob the last house. Now we will pick the initial starting position that will give us the maximum amount of money. Now for each of the house at index I, we have up to two choices. We can rob the current house and skip the next house, or we can rob or we can skip the current house and move to the next house. So this is at I plus one, and we'll jump to I plus two. Now we will pick the choice that will give us the maximum amount of money. Now let's go over the code. Now let's go over the pseudo code. So let's validate the input parameter. If nums is empty, this means there are no houses. We can just return zero. There are no money to rob. If nums.length is equal to one, we only have one house, so we can just return the amount of money in the first house. Now we're gonna create a method to find the maximum amount of money we can rob. And now, what parameters do we need? We we'll need the current index i, and also the the last index, the last index of the house we can rob. This is because if we rob the zero, the first house, we are not allowed to rob the last house. So this is to make sure that we do not rob the last house. And we also have nums, the input array. Now what's the base case? If i is greater than or equal to n. This means we have no more houses to rob. We can just return zero. Then each of the recursive call. We're gonna recursively find the amount of money M1 if we rob the current house. If we rob the current house, we have to move, we have to skip the next house. So we jump to I plus two. Then we want to recursively find the amount of money M2 if we skip the current house. This just means moving our index to the next index or to the next house. Then we want to return the maximum amount of money between M1 plus nums1. That's the amount of money um, in the current house because we have robbed the current house. And also if we skip the current house, M2. Now we will want, now we have our recursive method. So we will now 
find the maximum amount of money if we start from index zero or if we start from index one and then we want to pick the larger value. Then recursively find the maximum amount of money. M1 if we start at index zero. This means our starting position is equal to zero and our ending position is equal to nums.length minus two because we're not allowed to rob the last house. Actually, we can just say greater than n. Then we're gonna recursively find the maximum amount of money M2 if we start at index one. So our starting index is at one and then our last index we're allowed to rob is nums.length minus one. Because if we rob the second house, we are allowed to rob the last house. Then we want to return the maximum value between M1 and M2. The amount of money if we start from index zero and the amount of money if we start from index one. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity, we get O of two times two to the N. So it's equal to two to the N, where N is the length of the input array. This is because we have two initial recursive calls, starting from index zero and index one, then each recursive call has up to two choices and a depth of n. Our space complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array, and this is our recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So we'll first validate the input parameter. If nums.length is equal to zero, it's empty, so there are no money to rob. So we return zero. If nums.length is equal to one, this means there's only one house, so we just rob the uh, the one house. Now I want to return the maximum amount of money if we rob starting from the first house, which means index zero, and then our n index will be equal to nums.length minus two. Because if we rob the first house, we are not allowed to rob the last house. Then the last house is located at nums.length minus one. So it's just one more house before that. And also the maximum amount of money if we rob starting from the second house. If we start robbing the second house, we can't rob the last house. So the last index will be nums.length minus one. Now let's create our methods int i our current index, the last index that, that we can rob, and also the input array. If i is greater than n, there are no more houses to rob, so we can return zero because there are no more money to rob. Now we want to return the maximum amount of money between robbing the current house. So if we rob the current house, we have to skip the next house, so we jump to i plus two, and then we increment by the amount of money at the current house and also robbing and also skipping the current house. If we skip the current house, we can just move on to the next index. So it's i plus one. Okay, we're getting our TOE error. So this approach is not efficient enough due to overlapping recursive calls. In the next video, we'll be going over the memorization approach of House Robber 2, where we perform an optimiza optimization to the recursive approach. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.